Hello everyone, this is Saul. I'm here to demo a new feature in Visidata. Visidata now has a menu, a hierarchical menu system. So you see at the top here, there's a sheet, edit, etc. little menus, and you can click on them just like in the GUI app. And these should look pretty familiar. These are basically just commands in Visidata and little sub-menus. And whenever you're on an actual command, it throws up a help box here and you can see the help string for the command as well as the keyboard shortcut and the command log name there and if you click on it again or press enter then you can do the actual command and so you, I was using I was clicking on things up here but you can also press control H as it says up in the upper right hand corner up there to launch the help menu specifically which um, goes this goes to the man page and this goes to the command list etc. Uh, and then you can use the keyboard, the arrow keys, or HJKL, of course, to navigate this menu, or click as before. And uh, yeah, so this is the basic stuff. There's um, some, a uh, couple hundred commands in the menu system now at this point, and this should make it, things a lot more discoverable. I want to thank Shane at General UI for encouraging me to implement the hierarchical menu system. We've had we wanted a menu system for quite a while, and we've I've actually given it a couple of different attempts. This is the first time I've decided to go with a traditional uh, GUI approach, and I think it's actually working out really well. Anyway, um, I wanted to before we before I go here. I wanted to also um, share a workflow that I was working through. Basically, I wanted to see um, how many of the commands in Visidata are available on the menu when I was uh, adding things to the menu, which ones weren't. And so we have the list. I'm going to try to do this mostly with the mouse here. We'll see how this goes. But um, we have a list of the, let's see, under help command list. This is the existing command list here. So this is for, there's some, wow, 683 commands on here. Now, a lot of these are plugins and things that I've got installed. I've kind of got the maximal set of commands. This is not what stock visit looks like. But regardless, um, this is a list of all the commands here. And if I wanted to see which commands were in the menu already, I can go, let's see here, go to system. And I, I know that there's a um, menus attribute on the visited object. And so I'm actually going to run my Python expression here, evaluate the expression. And so we're going to do bd.menus. And this is all of the possible menu items in visited. Now, the ones that aren't um, available for whatever sheet don't exist. And so you can see there's a dark draw sheet down here. That's for a dark draw specifically if you're on a dark draw sheet. But if you're not, then it just vanishes. They're not in the system, in the menu system currently. So here's a list of all of these commands. This is hierarchical now. If we dive down into these, we can do that with, um, let's see here, view, no, it's under row, dive into. And so if I dive into this, then enter is what the actual shortcut was. And so I can do this and I can go down here and you can kind of traverse all the different menus and see the commands as the leaf node, et cetera. But um, that's not gonna help me get a list of all the commands. What I want to do is expand the column here. I'm going to expand this to a certain depth and we're going to fully. And so this is dragging it across. I'm making columns for every um, sub thing in this nested object here. And so this goes along quite wide, as you can see. And the, of course, the way that we deal with uh, very wide data sets often is we can melt them. And so if we melt the non key columns here, then we'll see all of the cells in that sheet here by the column. So here's the column name here, and here's the actual value. Now, if I'm only interested in these long names to see which ones are available, then I would want to select things that have long name in this column here. That's row select uh, by regex in the current column. Yeah, let's see long name. And this is all of those are selected. Now, if we want to uh, only pull those off into their own sheet. We would go duplicate, select a rows by ref, and this, of course, is double quote. And so we're going to do that. And this is a list of all of the long names. Now, there's some uh, duplicate or empty rows here. These are the, I'm not sure what those are, but they're, they're empty anyway. 
Oh, this must be for the actual submenus. But anyway, um, I'm going to do a frequency analysis on this to see if there's any duplicates in this column here. And there's those blank ones. But other than that, there's only one apiece. And so this is the list of all of the um, commands in the menu. There's 221, I guess, in there. And so I'm actually going to remove these, hide that column. And this is minus. I could be using minus here, but I promised that I would use the mouse for this. And let's actually resize this to half the width, sure. And we're gonna add a new column here. Oh, it's really hard for me to have to use the keyboard shortcuts that I know. Column, add column, add a Python expression. This is equals. We can create a new column from a Python expression. And so we do that, and we're gonna make, I'm just gonna make this be true. And then we'll rename this column here. Rename the current column as uh, in the menu, for instance. And what I want to do is I want to actually go to another sheet. Actually, we're going to go to the sheets sheet here, the sheets stack. And we've got this sheet that we had, uh, that the most recent sheet has that column in there. We're going to select this one. So row select current row with S, or could have used S anyway. And then we're going to take this list of commands here and also select that one, select that row. And um, I actually want this one here to be on top. So we're basically going to wind up joining the sheets together so we can see which commands there are and which ones are on the menu and which ones aren't. And so I'm going to slide this. It's actually under edit. Slide the row up some number. And it's going to be up five. And oh, it actually went all the way to the top. If we look at the, that was actually one one too many here. If we look at the sheets sheet again, sheet stack. Okay, that it's fine, but um, it basically went up all the way to become the topmost sheet. But here we go. So here's the a list of commands on that benchmark sheet, and then the uh, ones we added here. I'm going to join these together. I'm doing this here so you can see. Oh, this looks green, and this green is because there's a command in here that's not on the default base sheet or table sheet. And so you can kind of tell that there's something that's um, extra available. And so this is a special command that's on the sheets sheet, which is to join the selected sheets. You can't get to this except for when you're on the sheets sheet, but I can get to it here. So I'm gonna do that join. And we still have to select the uh, one. I'm gonna press control X here and we're gonna look for the, and this, uh, by the way, I'm hoping that this um, fancy chooser is going to be replace with something even better for the next one. So you may, have, you may even have like a join dialog that opens up and gives you all the options and explains things for you. We're gonna do the extend. Basically it's the rows from the first sheet and extend with the columns from the other sheet. Now I screwed up because I did not remove. So we're gonna put that out here. We're gonna go back to this sheet here, row dive into. And I have this extra key column that I don't want and this way it'll, uh, if we go back to the sheets sheet, sheet stack, um, this way we've only got one key column per thing. So now when we do the join, it'll work as expected here. And so we're gonna do the append, I'm sorry, the extend, that extends it wide. And now we've got the command over here on the left, and this is the, this is the standard command sheet, but oh, here's the, whether or not it's in the menu. And so we can just see that at the ready here and look through and see which commands aren't uh, on the menu. And so I may actually wind up adding some of these other commands that aren't on the menu into the menu. Uh, I think it's probably fine for the first pass now, but this would be how I would go through it to see what the uh, unused or uncommanded menus are, uh, unmenued commands are. And so anyway, that's a, a simple workflow that I was, I just want to kind of toss in there. I thought I would try to do it with the mouse solely, which, you know, is a little bit trickier for me. But if you didn't know what we were doing already in Visited, it might really help you to try to explore and figure out where you could go. Hopefully you'll still use the command shortcuts as you do. If I were to do this by hand, you could see how much faster it would go. And it would be, I mean, just like Visited is, it's pretty, pretty slick. Anyway, that's uh, the new menu feature, and I'm I'm actually really excited about it. We're going to put it out and visit it at 2.6 in a couple of weeks here, just before I go to Strange Loop with Jeremy Singer Vine and give a workshop on Visitata, and uh, that should I think this is going to be really great for people. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.